Okay, so we've just finished the cell functions. Let's do a challenge question. Gaucher disease is a very rare disease caused by a genetic defect in the GBA gene, which encodes glucocerebrosidase. This is a big word for an enzyme that breaks down a particular group of glyco or glucose attached lipids, glycolipids. Without this enzyme, these glycolipids can accumulate in cells, particularly in central nervous system cells, certain types of blood cells, and bone. Gaucher cells are diagnostic for this disease, and they can be found with biopsy of liver, spleen, bone marrow, or lymph nodes. These cells are macrophages packed with undigested lipids. All right, let's think for a minute about what possibly could be going on in these cells. Which organelle do you think is affected by the loss of this enzyme? Pause for a minute, think about it, and I'll show you the answer. Okay, if you said lysosome, you were correct. So this is a lysosomal storage disease. This is one of the most common lysosomal storage disease, although the lysosomal storage diseases in general are very rare. What happens is that the loss of this lysosomal enzyme, in particular, this glucocerebrosidase, leads to accumulation of products that normally would be broken down by the lysosome. So when lysosomes are not functioning, these normal housekeeping functions are not working and you get more and more buildup of these molecules. That can, in certain types of cells, lead to a disruption in function of those cells. Special thanks to rarediseases.org, which has a nice overview of Gaucher disease. And a shout out to my friends at Osmosis, who created a video for rarediseases.org about Gaucher disease. All right. That's all for today. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon.